Hi folks, Willard Sharp here with Willard Sharp Photography with another video on the upcoming eclipse. Um, we are now five days out from the eclipse as of the making of this video, which is the evening of April the 3rd. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what the cloud cover forecast is looking like and uh, a few other things. So first off, um, thank you for everyone who's been watching my videos. And I would really love it if you would continue to watch and subscribe. I want to try to get to a thousand subscribers by the beginning of May. So, and I'm well on my way there. So I would really appreciate um, giving a subscribe and giving a like to the video because it really helps um, get that video out there and helps the algorithm out quite a bit. So let's dive right into it here. Get right down to business. Uh, I'm going to look at it, several um, computer models. I'm uh, going to start with the GFS, and again, you know, from previous videos, you probably remember me talking about the GFS. The GFS typically overdoes cloud cover forecasts a little bit. So, um, with uh, a map here, uh, blue is cloud cover, white is clear skies. So, this is the latest run, um, the 18Z run from uh, early this afternoon. And, you know, you can see GFS kind of doing what it usually does, you know, painting them a lot of clouds, probably more than what's really going to happen here. Uh, we do have a uh, couple storm systems to keep an eye on. Uh, we have our persistent trough out in the west, though with these later runs of the forecast as you know, we're getting closer to the event. Not quite as deep, you know, maybe a little bit more open, so probably not as much, you know, moisture return, you know, ahead of this, or at least, you know, not at this point, you know, by Monday afternoon. Still have a low pressure uh, swirling uh, around up here, um, South Dakota, north northwest Iowa, uh, but um, and it, and it will play an impact on the on the cloud cover forecast. So, going back to the GFS cloud cover forecast here. So yeah, th um, you know, here's our low pressure trough out here, low pressure uh, trough right here. So I think, um, you know, kind of down south here, you know, down in Texas, I think there is probably going to be quite a bit of cloud cover with the influence of this trough moving in from the west. The GFS has been pretty consistent about having a kind of a clear streak here in Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. Um, if you look at some of the early runs, here's the 12Z run from this morning. You know, it's got a you know consistent clear patch there. Look at the 6Z from earlier, kind of in the same place. So, you know, so kind of... Yeah, starting to paint a picture there, even with the cloudy GFS model. Uh, looking at the European model, this is the latest run from 12Z this morning. Kind of a similar situation to the GFS. think it might be overdoing the clouds just a little bit, but I think the signal for clouds down here in Texas is you know, probably spot on. I uh, see breaks in the clouds here, at least with this particular computer run from Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio up into New England. If we look at last night's um, run, um, you know, not quite as widespread with a cloud cover, but you know, it's kind of in the same area that Illinois, Indiana, Ohio corridor, um, you know, starting to, you know, you know kind of look pretty good there. Uh, let's look at the Canadian model, which I think does a better job of forecasting cloud cover. At least that's my experience when I'm looking at uh, night skies photography, if I'm going to have clear skies or aurora photography. Um, again, and this is 18Z, so this is during eclipse time. Again, nice clear patch here from Missouri, Illinois, Indiana. Uh, got clouds here in the Ohio Valley heading into New England. And, of course, the persistent clouds down here in Texas. Probably some high clouds here in Oklahoma into western Arkansas, which you know I completely buy into. Looking at them, um, this is a little bit different map than what I've shown before. This is the NWS blend of all models. Uh, for 18z on Monday on Eclipse Day, and you can definitely see the trend here with the blend of all the models. That this kind of favorable area here from Missouri through Illinois and Indiana, where it's got the least amount of cloud cover. Um, and I think with our low pressure up here, and we've got we'll have a front kind of extending this way. Yeah, you, you can see cloud cover out here. Then of course the front trails off down into Texas, so we, where we have the been getting that pretty consistent signal for cloud cover down in Texas for quite a few days now. And I don't see that trend really changing too much. So um, bottom line is you know, we're getting closer to the event. 
Um, you know, the cloud cover forecast is going to get better and better from here on out. I said definitely see some trends developing, you know, from the past several days through today. You know, the, this, you know, kind of clearing patch here in the, in the Midwest. I think that may be the spot to be. Also up here in um, northern New England, that might be another potentially good spot. I think the Ohio Valley is going to have some issues with clouds. Texas, maybe southern Arkansas, I think they're going to have issues with clouds. So uh, check back. I'll be making some more updates as we get closer into the weekend. But um, right now, my personal plans are um, is to head to southern Illinois, unless I see something that changes. You know, so this is where I'll be you know, for the... Uh, for the eclipse day it's you know since i live in iowa it's the you know, closest shortest drive for me so you know, I'm, I'm really hoping that you know this particular forecast you know selfishly for me i hope it you know, works out you know so i don't have to do a super long drive so that's it for now uh, thanks again for watching and be sure to check out my other two videos uh, particularly episode two um, if you're going to be an eclipse photographer you know, I go through some tips and tricks and a kind of a checklist to go through, you know, before you head out to the eclipse. And I will drop a link for episode two down in the description below. Thanks and have a great week.